Hi, it's Tamika Shelby, Carolyn Burke, and Brenda Dell. And we're from David Tree School of Yoga. And we're here to talk to you about an upcoming course that we have, the Subtle Energy Body Course in London, Ontario. It's perfect that we talk about it here because we're in Marsa Schlock, Malta, one of the ancient cities of the world connected to Atlantis and Lemuria. And the Subtle Energy Body Course is special to us because we are unlocking some of those energetic tools that really are our birthright. They're available to all of us, but they've been hidden from us. And what we feel and what we've noticed in our lives is that when we open up to these energies, these subtle energies, that it empowers our lives. It makes such a big difference. So we're hoping with this little video we can answer some questions that you might have and that perhaps you'll come and join us. What the Subtle Energy Body Course has done for me is it's been very grounding. Um, I've really enjoyed learning more about protections and how to protect my own energy out in the world. It's helped me to unlearn some of what's been taught to me in the culture and to face some of the difficult truths going on in the world without fear and the community's really helped me with that. And it's also been incredibly helpful to awaken some energy in myself and to help me feel present. So what I love about the Subtle Energy Body Course is the connections. It, like There's so many avenues to come at the energetics from, be it numerology or crystals or mantras or mudras, and how it all interweaves together into the whole so you can come at it from whatever way resonates for you. And one of the most common questions we have is why over Easter? Well, Easter is the energy of resurrection. And whatever your belief system is, it doesn't matter. This energy is special. And a lot of times when we gather at Easter, it's not conscious of this rebirth energy. It's not conscious of this, what do we want to step forward and create in the next phase of our lives. So we purposefully chose Easter as to amplify that resurrection, that rebirth within all of us to how do we turn on our inner power? How do we turn on the real true magnificence of our ourselves as humans and use that with the God force or the spirit force and create something new and different in our lives. How do we create healing and, and hopefulness, especially in these difficult times on earth? And how do we navigate these difficult times on earth? So we trust that answers some of your questions about the subtle energy body. And if you're still wondering, uh, I don't think this is for me because it seems weird, do not come. No, 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 because we create a really cohesive community um, of support for each other's unusualness, let's say. So if you feel like, oh, that is weird, don't come, okay? <laughs> and we respect that too, because we're all here to express these um, ideas differently and uniquely. And if you feel like, yeah, ooh, that sounds really exciting, I'm getting goosebumps, we hope to see you there. No, uh she probably gets reception here. Uh, uh -huh. Stop. Look at the jeep. Oh, hello, puppy. Okay. Got some eye stuff. Okay, I'm ready. So we trust that answers some of your questions about the subtle energy body and what we do. And <laughs> she's holding on to the, the hero in the dead of the night. I don't know. <laughs> I need a hero. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> we combined a few songs. Whoa! Whoa!